we're, we're in the sweet spot of the not so great weather. Sweet spot yeah. of rain. That's <laughs> right, because we've got just rain and temperatures which are probably going to reach up to near 50 degrees today. Now, north of that, it's snow. South of that, it's potential severe weather. So, you know, it's still not a great day, but it could be a lot worse. So I guess we'll look at it that way. Looking at the Chris Kindle market or what's left of it as they start to dismantle it. It doesn't look at all like it's uh, between Christmas and New Year's at this point because really what we're looking at there is quite a bit of rain. It looks more like a spring day. Now what we have temperature wise is David and Bourbonnet at about 42 degrees. Eugene and Alsop at 42. Elton Isley and Schaumburg at 40 degrees and Rich Mathis and Gurney coming in at 30. So here we go with this post Christmas storm that has us firmly in the rain, but uh, back behind that low pressure system is snow and a little bit of mix somewhere in between. So very hefty snowfall totals across parts of the Dakotas and northern Minnesota, even northern Wisconsin and the UP of Michigan. But you get down here across our area a little bit closer and it's just rain at this moment, um, but pretty heavy and it's been with us for a while now and you can see it out there at the moment. We've got quite a bit of it across the city, all of Cook County painted green. You look over in northwest Indiana and they are also dealing with some rain. We've got a little bit more broken up back on off to the west where uh, it's starting to at least show some signs of breaking through with a little bit of uh, clear air. But we will continue to see shower activity off and on. Some severe storms down along portions of Louisiana heading into Alabama and Mississippi and continuing to progress east. That's the southern extent of the storm. Northern part is all about the snow out there. Look at these temperatures too back behind that low pressure system. It's just Fargo uh, at 17 right now, 36 in Minneapolis, and then here's St. Louis at 51. We're at 42 right now, but going up later today to around the 50s. So here we are at 42 right now at O'Hare. Watch what happens. We keep climbing, and that's interesting because we keep climbing even after the sun sets because that warm air keeps piling in. But unfortunately, we all also keep that rain chance out there. So stepping through the day, three o'clock, we still have showers out there going into about six o'clock at night. Scattered activity. A little bit lighter than it has been. Uh, still dealing with that at about 11 o'clock tonight and then starting by tomorrow morning's commute to see a clearing. There will be a little bit of light snow on the back side of this, but we're really not expecting any accumulation that's likely to stick. We've got rain, wind, and warmth out there today. That's our main story today. Uh, still mild going into tomorrow, at least in the morning, but by the afternoon, temperatures are already starting to drop, and 2019 is actually going to start on a really cold note. So so here's what we're looking at 53 today, 42 tomorrow, 32 on Saturday. We're going to settle in then still above average in the upper 30s for Sunday and Monday, but then it's the 20s for Tuesday and Wednesday, mid 20s both days. So that's going to be a real kind of shock to the system after. We had a very cold end to fall, a nice, really warm start to winter once winter officially got here. And now it's going to go back to about what, we're, what is typical for this time of the year, kind of par for the course, but it's really warm today. I kind of want to say, hey, Mother Nature, you're drunk. Go home. I know. I, I don't think she knows exactly what she's doing right now. <laughs> She'll figure it out. Though. We're just on the roller coaster yeah. ride with her, though, yeah. aren't we? Thanks, Megan.